Hadoop is an increasingly popular computing environment for distributed processing that businesses can use to analyze and store huge amounts of data. Some of the world's largest and most data-intensive corporate users deploy Hadoop to consolidate, combine, and analyze big data in both structured and complex sources. With Hadoop and its MapReduce programming language, and later variations like Spark, Storm, and Tage, high-volume data processing operations can scale up from running on one server to several thousand machines at once, harnessing the computing power on a managed grid. Today, companies like Google, Yahoo, Facebook, eBay, and LinkedIn use Hadoop. It's for that reason major industry vendors, IBM, Oracle, Informatica, and Microsoft are positioning themselves on Hadoop. Both sites recognize that Hadoop is becoming a cost-effective way to work with petabytes of data. What makes Hadoop more powerful than previous distributed processing technologies is that it can run on a large number of machines that do not share memory or disks. Hadoop breaks the data into smaller pieces, distributes those pieces across the grid, and merges the results automatically on the desired target platform. In addition, it has the intelligence to balance workloads and recover from individual node failures through redundancy. Hadoop Framework Hadoop works in the following way. On the bottom, we have machines arranged in parallel. Each machine has a data node and a task tracker. Data node is also known as HDFS or Hadoop Distributed File System. And task tracker is also known as MapReducers. Data node Data node contains the entire set of data and the task tracker does all the operations. You can imagine a task tracker as your arms and legs which enables you to do a task and a data node as your brain, which contains all the information which you want to process. These machines are working in silos and it is very essential to coordinate them. The task trackers in different machines are coordinated by a job tracker. The job tracker makes sure that each operation is completed and if there is a process failure at any node, it needs to assign a duplicate task to some other task tracker. Job Tracker also distributes the entire task to all the machines. Name Node A name node, on the other hand, coordinates all the data nodes. It governs the distribution of data going to each machine. It also checks for any kind of purging which has happened on any machine. If such purging happens, it finds the duplicate data which was sent to another data node and duplicates it again. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you.